Hi, everybody. Cheryl Knowlton, Chief Energy Officer and CEO of Dynamite Productions. Today, we are going to talk about something I truly love. It's called the treasure map. And what we are going to talk about today is why this is a valuable tool for you and why it's unlike the whole vision board concept that you've heard about before. Absolute kudos go to my fabulous mentor, Maria, Dr. Maria Nemeth. She is the creator of the ACE coaching program that I am currently getting certified in. ACE stands for Academy of Coaching Excellence. And in her amazing book, The Energy of Money, Maria introduces us to the concept of treasure maps. And in order to do that, I'm going to show you mine. And I'm showing it to you right now because I actually built this in December of last year. Um, and when I built this, I, I'm going to turn around and show it to you. You ready? <gasps> Ta-da! When I built this in December of last year, there were some questions about whether or not we were going to be able to do all of this. Um, and I'll come back to that in just a second. Let me talk about the very specific aspects of a treasure map and why it's different from a vision board. I've created vision boards in the past. I have one that I absolutely love, but honestly, it's kind of a hodgepodge of words and pictures that resonated with me. This is extremely different. So, and if you want the full directions, I will direct you to the amazing book, The Energy of Money, and we can talk about that later if you would like to. First of all, when you are creating a treasure map, you are going to set a very specific goal. I want to. And for me, um, I actually kind of, I combined two because they were so similar. I wanted to go to Disney World with my husband. We had two trips planned. The first was in January. And so that's the next part of the treasure map. After you get very clear and specific about what exactly it is you want to do, you get very clear and specific about when you want to have done this by. And you, you cannot write it on there. You cannot print out calendar pages. The part of the treasure map is going in search of a calendar with the actual dates and then you cut them out and you glue them to your treasure map. Um, and yeah, very important facet. So January 6th, 7th and 8th, I was scheduled to do um, half marathon weekend at Disney World, which is something I have done twice before. Uh, first in January of 19 and then January of 20 before yeah, everything, everything went sideways, right? So this was the first time I was going to be going back and doing it post pandemic. And financially, I wasn't sure how we were going to make it all work, especially being so close to just after Christmas. But I knew I wanted to do it. I was registered for it, signed up for it and put it on the vision board. The next trip, we were scheduled to go uh, to Disney World the 22nd um, through the 24th of February because I was going to Orlando already for the National Speakers Association annual convention. And so I said to my sweetheart, hey, baby, it's our anniversary. It's our 20th anniversary. Why don't we go a little bit early and celebrate our anniversary? And he said, absolutely. Next up. So after you get your date very clear and specific, nailed down. Um, and first of all, exactly what it is you want to do, which is number one. Number two. Number three is you find a picture of the person or the people that you want to be doing this with, because that brings it to life even more for you. So knowing I wanted both of these trips to include my sweetheart, I found um, our 2020 trip to Disney World. There I am in my shirt with my medal. And that was a great and joyful memory as I brought this more into my reality. Um, then you go in search of pictures that are going to bring this to life for you. So the castle and your castle awaits. Dreams do come true at Walt Disney World. Your epic resort adventure awaits. A lot of things about adventure and magic and the castle. But this, wow, getting emotional. This um, happily ever after saying I do or I will or I still do after all these years at Disney was very specifically tied in to the second trip. Rick and I love to stay at Coronado Springs. It is our favorite hotel. And so put that up there as a vision. And interestingly, wouldn't you know, for this trip, we were not able to stay there. But for this trip, when I tried to book it, everything was booked and we couldn't get in. But I kept trying, didn't give up. And wouldn't you know, we were successfully able to get in. And because it was on my vision board, I thought, woo, that is really powerful stuff. 
It was also very um, important to both of us that we spend some time at Epcot. He really wanted to ride the new um, Ratatouille ride that was really important to him. And so putting that up there um, specifically with Epcot. And I found in German, a welcome to Epcot in German of all things. And, and my husband speaks German and is half German. And so I thought that would tie me back more to him. And then of course, just Mickey and magic and all the things. I also put good mood, amazing health up here because right around this time, um, some COVID was rampant again with the Omicron variant, and I just wanted to make certain that I programmed it hard into my brain that that was not going to deter me from my goal, my dream, my vision, my plan of not only being able to go on this trip, but be able to successfully run my half marathon. It's just on foam board. I got this for a couple of bucks at the grocery store, but I put this up with Velcro. I don't know if you can see that because it's also black. Um, in my office, um, in a place where every time I am seated at my desk, it is right smack dab in front of my face. And I can truly speak now to the power of creating this treasure map and the fact that the, for a minute, we weren't sure how we were going to financially be able to make either trip worth, work. And both of them worked with actually a, a lot of grace and a lot of ease. Wound up getting new coaching clients that came into my business just at the right time. And so we were able to go and have an absolutely incredible time. If you want some ideas or tips on uh, creating a treasure map for yourself, I would love to support you on that journey. And if you actually make one, I would love to see it. So don't hesitate to reach out. You know how to find me. And if you don't know how to find me, definitely um, reach out Cheryl, C-H-E-R-Y-L at Cheryl Knows, K-N-O-W-S dot com. And, and send me a picture of you with your treasure map. And I want to hear all about it because it worked magic for me. I believe it can work magic for you too.